Well, good morning. We are here at Trilogy at Vistancia again this morning. It's Robert and Julia Miller with Rethink Real Estate and the J Patel Group. Wanting to show you this lovely Stellari model. Three bedrooms, three bath. All three are en, suite, en suites, pardon me. Three car garage out here. To highlight some of the front features, you've got this paver walkway that goes back to a garbage can enclosure. And then you have gutters all around the front, uh, storm gutters. Helps in our monsoons, so that's great. Beautiful mature landscaping, just a really welcoming courtyard as well. We'll walk you up and show you that. So as you enter into this cozy courtyard, you'll notice the security door and hardwood door are both upgrades. There is also a ring doorbell. As we enter into the grand rotunda entry, we'll find the den just on our right through custom double doors. Inside the den, we'll find custom shelving and cabinetry. The den also features Roman shade type window treatments and crown molding. We'll give you a closer look of the rotunda entry and the flooring. I just love this medallion and the granite tile that surrounds it. Now we'll head into the owner's suite and show you the flooring there as well. It's a wood look tile, very beautiful. There's also silhouette blinds in here. And just above, we'll take a look at the crown molding and the ceiling fan molding. Very cool, gives it a classic, but still very contemporary feel. There is also surround sound in the master bedroom and also in the great room and out on the back patio. Let's take a look at the owner's suite bathroom. So here the upgrades don't end for sure. You've got granite countertops, brushed nickel hardware, and framed mirrors. Then there's a large soaking tub with granite tile surround. We'll see the second vanity here with a lower vanity table along with it. And then we'll take a look at the large step-in shower complete with ledge and bench. It does have a large shower head that does have a handheld option. Next, we'll take a look at this large pass-through walk-in closet. And it does have custom shelves with extra hanging bars, drawers, and cabinetry. Heading back towards the entry of the house, we'll head through that rotunda entry to the main gathering rooms, the kitchen, living room, and great room. But first we'll stop off at the side courtyard. This is just a nice private area for you to sit and have a cup of coffee in the morning or a cup of tea in the evening and relax and take in the serenity. It is covered for daytime enjoyment as well by an Aluma wood pergola. There's a ceiling fan there to move the air. Privacy wall here to help enclose the space. There's a gate to the backyard as well. Heading back in, we'll see those main rooms We'll stop here at this beverage center. A wet bar with granite countertops, beautiful custom cabinets above. I love those glass fronts, beveled edge glass in it. 
There's a refrigerator and sink for your enjoyment. As you can see from here, the room really opens up. Room for formal dining there in the middle. And then a great room on this end with a fireplace, wood blinds, and a view of the side courtyard and the backyard. There is crown molding in this room and surround sound. The home also features custom drapery throughout much of the house. Now let's take a look at that kitchen. There is a large island for seating. You have RO for drinking water. Built-in appliances including a sub-zero refrigerator, double door oven, microwave convection. You have under cabinet lighting here and a five burner gas cooktop. Here you have a breakfast room and it does have the sliding door to go out to the back patio. Next we'll take a look at the guest bedroom wing along with garage, laundry room, and powder room. Let's take a look at that first bedroom. It is an ensuite and here you have that wood look tile again. The sellers are using it as an exercise room right now. It does have this feature wall. As you can see, it's a really good size room. Raised vanity in the bathroom with tile countertops and a backsplash, and then you've got a walk-in shower. Moving right along, we'll stop here at the laundry room. We've got upper cabinets with a hanging bar above the washer and dryer. And then the sink is on the opposite wall with a nice long countertop. Moving back down the hallway here, further down, we've got a two-piece powder room with crown molding and uh, upgraded lighting as well. Moving on to the second guest bedroom. It is an ensuite bedroom with wood look tile floors, mirrored closet doors. And again, it's a good sized room for sure. The ensuite bath does have a raised vanity, cultured marble countertops, and a soaking tub with cultured marble around. Let's stop and take a look at the garage here. It's so clean and tidy. So you have cabinets here on our left, and this is a double garage. The single car garage is on the other side, separate. Overhead storage, service door there, and then you have the central vac canister as we just saw. Solar energy inverter there. Another look at those cabinets on the far wall. And here we'll get a closer look of the epoxy. So as we go out to the backyard to show you the paradise that awaits you there, I'll tell you some of the other home upgrades and features. The home does feature 12 foot soaring ceilings, a newer AC installed in 2019, whole house water filtration, and owned solar.
So right away, as you step out on the back patio, you'll see what I mean by a backyard paradise. This backyard has just been packed with zen and tranquility, serenity, peace, I love how the pool is shaped. It does have in-ground cleaning system, the Baja step there. There's some more of that patio. The patio is large and expansive and runs the entire length of the back of the house. The pool does have a unique fit feature in the fireplace there on that back wall for your evening enjoyment. You can have the fire and water going at the same time. Then this end of the patio has the exit from the kitchen, which is great for eating dinner out here, having a glass of wine with friends in the evening. 